how lucky we've been with this weather. Don't jinx it now, it might jinx. change. Yeah. <laughs> Don't jinx it! Yeah. This is broken. Oh. That's been broken. Those of you who don't know us yet, we are Carol and Ken, and we like touring in our little red camper, a tiny Nissan MV200 built by Sussex Camper Vans. We offer tips and tricks for how to survive in such a tiny van, and also try and demonstrate just how easy it is to wild camp. Six o'clock in the morning, we've just woken up here at South Stack. Um, having had a really peaceful night. <laughs> Wild hair morning again. It's a bit blowy, wasn't it? Yeah. The van was rocking a bit last night. Yeah, exactly. Don't tell them that. And we were listening out to see if anyone was coming. I think there's a foghorn going at the moment. There is at the moment. I yeah. can hear it regularly. It's very faint though, isn't it? So whether it's mm. around the corner, I don't know. Yeah. But have you looked outside yet? Um, only through the window. I haven't been outside yet. Mm. It's very mizzy, you know, mm. like rain. Mm. Well, not rain, that sort of mist that wets the windows. Yeah, oh really? Sea mist. What we're going to do is um, scoot off from here now and find somewhere that's not so windy so we can pop the roof and have a wash and everything get ourselves sorted out. Let's go! There, I've uh, put the screen up and you can see the weather. It's the alarm. It's our six o'clock alarm. Where is it? Okay, let's get cracking. I'm sure some people would think we're absolutely mad getting up so early in the morning, but there's a simple rule if you're parking where you're not really supposed to be, it's best to arrive late and get up early. Well, we certainly can't see very much this morning here, and it's quite unpleasant to be outside. Not going to stay out here long. It's that type of uh, rain that really wets everything. Just thought I'd give you a little look. So this was us last night and it was a really nice little spot because uh, at this time of the year the back doors point directly towards the sunset. I parked the van with the nose directly into the wind and uh, that really helps a lot to get a peaceful night's sleep. Just give you a view of all this misty rain coming in. Are we nearly ready to move on? Yeah, I think so. We're sort of half dressed for yeah. the weather. We haven't got a signal here, so we don't know where we're going. No, we just drive. So we just got to get all this stuff off. It's rubbish here. Yeah. I'll um, sort this out if you want to get the card in. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. Um, we'll do. I never remember to deactivate the central locking before I try and get in from outside. Now that the solar panel's not working, it's good to uh, run the engine, get a bit of power back into that leisure battery. Okay, goodbye South Stack. We are off. Lights on, wipers on. Shouldn't be too many people about this time in the morning. Uh, just gone six o'clock, should be nice and quiet. Yeah, and they won't be coming here, I doubt, anyway. We're not in this weather, we won't be able to see a thing. There's a car in the car park, the bird watching place. I think we'll come back here maybe, and uh, if the weather clears up later on.
harbour, isn't it? It is. Yeah. And you can really see it much. Nice to walk around on a nice day. Mm. There's quite a few camper vans parked here. Don't know whether you have to pay just at the end of the harbour here or if that's free. Looks like it might be an actual air or something. We're supposed to be on the road which is directly above us but I wasn't paying attention so I've taken a wrong turn. Good job it's a small van. The wildlife are still waking up. He's a bit bedraggled, isn't he? It's a bit wet and cold, isn't it? Wet and cold. Still there, isn't it? there you go, you're going to fly. Off he goes. I don't like it when you make them fly. That's a lot of wasted energy to a bird, and they need every bit they can get. Hollyhead Breakwater Country Park. Gates open, we're coming in. This used to be. I have to look it up. See some industrial place. Yeah. I think there were mines around here. When I was back on shifts, I used to hate the early turn, but now I absolutely love getting up early. The toilets are closed, Mother. <laughs> we'll have to come back later. Yeah. Then we better wash. What a crying shame it is that people can't be trusted not to destroy public facilities and that we all have to pay for that. This will do us for a little while, won't we? Just yeah. hold up. Let's show you where we are. It's a gloomy old day, but I'll try my best to show you this from the air. The Breakwater Country Park was opened in 1990 and it's situated on the site of an old quarry which supplied the stone for one and a half miles of the Hollyhead Breakwater. The Breakwater is the longest in Europe and it was built between 1846 and 1873. So parking here is only four pounds for 12 hours. I'm pretty sure they probably don't let you stay overnight. But who knows? Hollyhead used to be subservient to Bow Maris as the region's main port, but it came into its own in the early 19th century when Thomas Telford built a new road to connect North Wales with London. the first adverse weather we've had for uh, to test our mat, isn't it? It is. It will make a big difference to keeping the van clean. You can kick all the rubbish out, isn't it? Right. It's always nice when we can put the roof up. You get so much more space to put things out of the way. There's a bit of light in. Time for a bit of breakfast now. Mm. These look good. 
So these ones have a hash brown in them as well. They do indeed. And you think we got them from the same place? We definitely got these in Aldi. Strange, isn't it? They keep sort of changing things. But whether they do both options, so you can choose to just have green sausage without the hash brown. Dunno. Do you like them? Mm, I do. That's a very satisfying breakfast. Mm. We've got sausage, hash brown and egg and cheese. Yeah, it's pretty good, isn't it? Mm. But we put the egg in, didn't we? We added the egg. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Bit of a wet one today. Low cloud. Mizzy rain. So we're eating biscuits in the van. Nice cup of tea and biscuits for 11 days. Mm. And then we'll just pootle off and have a drive later, charge yeah. up the battery. Just pootle around in the van today. Yeah. Well, this has been a really nice spot to get everything ready from our previous wild camp. Right, we're all set up yeah, and we're going to go off now for a little pootle around. We have no idea where we're going to end up. Ready? Yep, let's go. Well, we didn't get very far. Just around the corner, we spotted some dustbins. Perfect opportunity to get rid of the waste. Just on the wall here is a beautiful series of mosaics showing the history of the location. Good job. Good. All set. What's that done? Yeah. I'm intrigued about those camper vans we saw earlier, so let's take a closer look. look no sign about charges here, is there? No, I wonder if you can just park here. Yeah. Looks if like it. Looks like it. So this is at the far end of the harbour, just by the little mini marina. And to the right. Unless it's not off through road. So there's a big Irish ferry in that will be going over to Belfast. That was us not so long ago. I'll link to our series on Ireland. This is the A5 Hollyhead Road which runs across a causeway next to the A55, just over this wall on the right. I bet this can be a bit nasty cycling along here in bad weather. This tractor's got a difficult pull out, so we'll just hang back and give him a chance to get out of this junction on this bend. I just started watching Clarkson's Farm. If you haven't seen it, it gives a really good insight to the challenges farmers face. Destination is on the left. I wouldn't mind trying a little bit of lobster. I wonder if they're open. If the weather was good, I bet it would be difficult to park here. Go on then. That's the first time we've had to put our raincoats on. Yep. There had to come a time though, didn't there? Yeah. Right, it's taken this long. Yeah. Well, there's plenty of people queuing for coffee and cake. Sorry about the wind, but it's just overpowering the microphones. Well, it's certainly not beach weather, but it's always worth having a look. Not a bad little beach 
on the right day. Is he? Yeah, is he a new thing? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Carol wanted to walk along the beach, but I was more interested in that lobster. Oh, that's a your church bay. Oh yeah. So where were we this morning when we woke up? South Stack. And we went to the uh, country park there, Redford yeah. Country Park. And now we've driven up here. Good. And where's Stephen at the moment? Russ Colin. Russ Colin down there. Okay, and where did he say it? Oh, he was going to Elmwich, wasn't he? Well, that's where he's been for the oh, last I see. four or five days. Right. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, obviously it doesn't take long to drive there. No. Where's RAF Valley? There. Is it there? Yeah, Valley, yeah. Yeah. Oh, there's the airport. Yeah. Right, let's go and get some lobster. Well, that was a real shame because it turned out we were too late for lunch. And that's what happens when you're just bimbling about without a plan. Brought me down the twisty roads again, Bunny. These roads were to prove more challenging than we thought in more ways than one. Luckily for us, they've recently been mown either side, which makes it really easy to spot hidden obstacles in the fence. Whenever I encounter oncoming vehicles, I like to choose my own spot where we will pass rather than just pressing on in hope. This was a nice spot but it's about to be converted into an awkward one by the walkers. We made it but we were about to encounter further troubles up ahead. Everything was going fine and then I stupidly allowed myself to become distracted by the power station. Sun's trying to come out, isn't it? It is. Oh look, there's the, uh, there's the power station. Power station, yeah. yeah. We didn't catch it on film, but I've just run over a rather large rock in the middle of the road, and it made one hell of a noise underneath. Over a, a massive rock back there, uh, I got momentarily distracted, and I hit the rock. So made a hell of a noise underneath the van, so we're just going to check that. Hmm. I don't know if that plate is supposed to be hanging off. That is. I'll have to be careful of that. So it looks like it's broken the plastic shield. I don't know if you could see that in the picture underneath the engine. And my concern is it's hanging down, uh, which will be fine all the time we're traveling forwards, but not so good if we reverse, because it could actually get caught and then ripped off completely. 
Three-way standoff. Three-way standoff. Are you able to get through? Continue for one and a half miles. Right, so what do you think we should do now then? Um, well, I've got to assess it properly, so we need to find a car park that's level and then I can use our ramps to raise the front of the van and have a proper look under there and just get my head around what it really is uh, because it appears to be a, a protective plate with two forks on it and I think they're both bolted in and one of them has been ripped out so that's the plan We met him there. Could this be the end of our trip to Anglesey in North Wales? Join us next time for more adventures from the Little Red Camper.